Hi there, to set up your Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus, as a first step you'll need to take it out of the box and make sure that you got S Pen and USB-C cable and also just user manual. Then you'll need to turn on your tablet and after that tap this blue start button. Then you would need to choose your language, let's just find English and after that tap next. Here. As usual, we will need to agree with privacy policy, so this one is optional. You can simply disable it if you select only the first option. Let's tap next. And here, if you want to transfer some files from other device, you will need to select Galaxy or Android device, iPhone or iPad. Or if you would like to set up this tablet as a brand new device, you would need to select this button set up manually. So I'm going to choose it and after that we would need to select Wi-Fi network. So let me just select mine and quickly enter its passcode behind these scenes. And now I suggest you to enable this auto reconnect option so there will be no need to re-enter password each time you try to connect to this network. Now let's connect and wait a couple of seconds. Then we need to tap next button and simply wait a few minutes. At this point, don't forget to insert your SIM card. If you don't know where to find a SIM slot, you can just take a look at this upper panel if you hold your tablet like in my case, so in the landscape view, you just need to take a look at this upper panel and now you can see the SIM slot with this little hole in it. Here you need to insert your SIM card. Mine is already inserted, so now we just need to sign in Google account. Here you should enter your email or phone number and then the password. And let me do it quickly behind the scenes and get back to you. Now we will need to complete this two-step verification, so just take your other device and after that you will need to just confirm this code which you can see on your screen. So this is how it should look on your phone. Here you need to find the correct number and just tap on it like that. And after that you would see this greeting. So just tap I agree here and let's go to the next step. Now we can choose whether we want to copy apps and data or not. So I don't want to do this. I'm going to select done copy. And now this account is added. So let's go next. Here we are waiting a bit as well. We can restore something from your previous devices or select don't restore on the bottom of the page and just basically enable or disable some of the features from the list such as location, scanning, send usage and diagnostic data, install updates and apps and use backup. So I'm gonna disable backup and tap accept. Now we can choose lock screen type or we can do it later in the settings so let's just skip this tab here we need to select skip anyway and now set up google assistant so here just tap i agree if you want to use google assistant and now tap i agree if you want to use it on your lock screen so now we are waiting a bit and after that you would need to sign in your samsung account so from here, select sign in with Google, email or phone number, or you can scan this QR code with another Galaxy device to sign in this tablet. So I'm just gonna scan the QR code and get back to you. And after you sign in your Samsung account, you'd see this Galaxy AI. So here you'd see this bunch of features which just Galaxy AI provides. Just tap next button, here you can enable or disable customization service, auto blocker and smart suggestions. Let's agree with that. And now we will need to choose display mode. I want to switch to dark option, so let's just select it and go next. And now we are all set up, so we just need to tap this finished button like that. And now we can use our Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus. So that's it for today. 
If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and comment and I wish you all the best. Bye-bye!